Sai Ram children, welcome back to our maths class. We will continue with chapter 5, Multiplication. So, all second standard students, get ready with your maths book, notebook and your pencil box. Now, try to remember what we have finished in my multiplication. We have finished tables. 2 to 10, you have to learn the tables. Then, horizontal multiplication, vertical multiplication and carryover multiplication. Okay? Now, look here. There is one chart to indicate multiplication following words can be used multiplication multiplied by multiply product groups of lots of times times table okay and you can see the sign of multiplication it is x and after multiplying two numbers, the answer you get is called the product. Okay? Now, today we will be doing word problems. Earlier in addition, subtraction, you have done word problems. Like that, in multiplication also, we will be doing word problems. <clears throat> now, just listen, look here, after that we will do. Look at the given word problems. Number one, in a class, two children can sit on one desk. If there are 36 desks in the class, how many children can sit in the class? So, number of desks. It is written 36. Okay. Now we will write here 36. How you will write? 6 then 3. Tens and ones column are there. Now children on one desk equal to 2. Now write 2 here. Now we have to multiply these two numbers. 36 multiplied by 2. So we will start. 2, 6 are how much? 12. You will write 2. 1 will be carried over to the tens place. Now 2, 3 are 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Total number of children equal to 36 multiplied by 2 equal to 72. So the answer is 72 children can sit in the class. Understood how we will do the word problem? Okay. Now we will see the next example. Question 2. Selena gave 5 toffees each to 9 of her friends. How many toffees did she give in all? Now, number of friends. 9. So, we will write 9 in the ones place. Toffees given to one friend equal to 5. Now, we will write 5 here. Total top is given equal to what you have to do? 9 multiplied by 5. You know 9 fives are 45. But write properly from 1's place 5 and 4. So, you will get the correct answer. Selena gave 45 toffees in all. Okay.
now we will do this class work question 1 there are 10 pencils in a box how many pencils are there in six such boxes so tell me what to write in the first statement pencils in one box what we will write 10 right 10 here number of boxes yes 6 multiplication sign put the multiplication sign then 10 multiplied by 6 6 zeros are 0 and 6 ones are 6 so answer 60 pencils are there in such boxes okay 60 pencils Six zero sixty. Okay. Now finish it. Write properly the numbers in tens and ones place. Don't forget to put the multiplication sign. Sixty pencils are there in such boxes. Finished. Okay. Question two. In a group song competition, sixteen students participated from each section of class two. If there are five sections, how many children took part? Now children from one section. How much? Sixteen. So we will write. Sixteen, six. Here one in tens place. Now number of sections five. Okay. Now let's do the multiplication. Number of sections we have written. So to get the total children, what we have to do? Five six are how much? Thirty, right? Zero, and carry over three in the tens place. Five ones are five. Five plus three, eight. So eighty. Answer is eighty children took part. Okay, is it clear to you, children? Now look here. Finish it. All the questions are from your book. Note it down. See you have done correctly or not. All are getting eighty. Eighty children took part. Okay. Now question three. Arushi has a stamp album. There are twenty stamps on each page. If there are forty-eight pages in the album, how many stamps does she have? Now, number of pages. How much it is written? Forty-eight. Write eight and four here. Stamps on one page, twenty, zero, and two. Now, what to write? How we will get the total stamps? We have done multiplied with zero. So we will write here one zero is there. Let's write zero here. Okay. Now we have to do two eights are how much? Sixteen, very good. Write six here. 
carry over one. Now two fours are eight. Eight plus one, nine. Answer is she have nine sixty stamps. Okay. Have you understood how you will write the numbers properly in hundreds, tens and ones places? Finished? Now question 4. A group of 20 friends visit a fair. Each buys tickets for 8 stalls. How many tickets do they all buy? Now find out number of friends. How many? How many friends are there? There are 20 friends. So we will write here 20 number of friends. Now next number of tickets. Yes. 8. See the multiplication sign. Now we have to multiply these two numbers to get the total tickets bought. You have to multiply and what you will get? You will get the product. Eight zeros are zero. And two eights are sixteen. Write six here in the tens place and one in hundreds place. Okay, so the answer is 160 tickets they all bought. They all bought 160 tickets. Okay. Correct. Match your answer. Write down. If you have done, check it. The answer is 160. Note down properly the numbers and do the correct multiplication. Finished all of you? Okay. Now, your homework. Question 1. A librarian has arranged books in five rows on a shelf. Each row has 32 books. How many books are there on the shelf? Now you have understood how you will write the numbers. Okay. Now books in one row. Number of rows. You will write and then multiply. Give here multiplication sign. Don't forget. And get the correct product. Okay. Now question 2. Sam sells. 117 pizzas in a day. How many pizzas does he sell in 7 days? Now you will write pizzas sold in 1 day. Okay. Then write number of days. After multiplying the numbers, you will get the product. You will get the answer. Total pizzas sold. Okay. Have you understood? So, we have finished our lesson multiplication chapter. We finish now. Okay? So, children learn the tables, practice it and do the word problems also. Bye!
थैंक यू